have a fun project for you using my Sizzix Vagabond by Tim Holtz and I'm excited to show you this because I've been telling you that I've had it but I haven't had time to do a project with it. So now I'm going to do a quick project plus I'm going to be using spellbinders in it. So you, um, it's important to know that the Vagabond can use all types of dyes and it's got a pretty strong motor in it so it can cut through a lot of things like fabric and such. So today I'm going to show you how you can make a shaped card using just one of these little spellbinder dies. I had seen beautiful spellbinder cards and I just could not figure out for the life of me how you made shaped cards with one die. I figured maybe you had to glue them together somehow or whatever so I'm going to show you that trick while showing off the vagabond. Okay so first thing you need to know is that it comes in this cute cute suitcase and you have to open it up so you just um, Pull that, push that little lever. Okay, and then you, it comes with this platform. And it is um, also comes with this solo shim, which is attached on the ends so that it doesn't slip or slide, both ends. Okay, so we're gonna put that in there. And then I bought this one separately. This one is to allow the machine to be able to be used with spell binders or any other wafer thin dies. So I picked this one up at my local scrapbooking store and Tim Holtz is supposed to come out with his own version of this, but for now you can use this one. And I wanna say it's probably under $8, but it does not come with a machine. Crazy, right? Okay, then you have your cutting blades. Bottom one is my cutting one. That's just how I do it. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it the other way. And then, That's it, so we'll wait and put this other one on. So now we need a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to use pink cardstock because that's the card I'm gonna make. And I folded it in half and made a nice little crease using a bone folder. I'm gonna lay that, here, let me scoot this right, it's a teensy bit. I'm gonna lay that right on my clear cutting mat, my clear cutting plate, sorry, not mat. And then I'm gonna take my die, okay, and this is the um, I can't think of what it's called. I'll put it at the bottom. <laughs> okay, so what you need to do is you basically just need to put a cut side down, whatever side the paper's on is what side the cut needs to be on. You can tell the cut because it has the sharp little, they're not sharp, you can run your fingers across them, but it has the indentations. So I want to put it on here just so, so those loops come off just a tiny bit. Okay, so I don't want to cut the entire thing, just a tiny bit off of the edge, okay? And if you wanna hold it in place, if you're afraid that it's gonna move or jiggle around or whatever, then you can use some type of tape. I picked up this post-it tape, which is removable at Target today, actually, because I thought that would come in handy. And you can kind of put it in place. You kinda of wanna make sure that it's even. The post-it, it's called a label roll, and you can label things with it. Otherwise, you can use it just to, to use as like tape that's removable. And it's bright green. I don't know. Anyway, so there we go. We have that in, in its spot and we're going to put on our other cutting plate. Okay. And then once we've done that, we're ready to send it through. So you can send it through either this way or that way. And you can do that by changing this button back and forth. Okay. When you're ready to send it through, you push the power button. You have to hold it down the entire time. So I'm not going to talk while it's moving through. So I'm gonna take this out. Let's see what we have. I'm gonna do it right over here. Make sure you guys can see. Take that part off, take our little tape off. And it's not gonna rip our paper because it's just a post-it. Okay. And then I'm gonna poke through all these little holes. I can do this with my finger. If they're tinier holes than this, then you can use some kind of little tool that comes with your Cricut maybe. It's good to have nails for something. And isn't this the prettiest, prettiest dye ever? Okay, here's my finished card. I used the um, spell binders to make the shaped part. I used some pretty Christmas paper, rounded the edges with my corner chomper. I stamped a sentiment and I stamped this ornament on a different piece of paper using the Peace on Earth stamp set by Pink by Design. 
and then I used glossy accents, liquid glass, they're all the same. There's a ton of different ones that people use, but it's basically the same thing. It gives that glossy appearance. I used liquid glass and coarse glitter by Martha Stewart and sprinkled it, on, sprinkled it on top of the ornament. Then I used some gold coarse glitter for the top and then some twine for this little bow. And that's it. That's all I did to decorate. It was pretty simple and I love how this Spellbinders card looks. And I also love that I didn't have to glue the middle. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. Have a great day, everyone. See you next time.